What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Afroida coming back at you with another fact video. Uh, this one's coming from another group from Ethiopia known as the Sadama. Um, after I talk about them, I'm probably going to go over to another African country and talk about some of the tribes within that country. Or in general, I'll probably just talk about different tribes in other countries. I feel like I've been focusing on Ethiopia quite a lot. But just to jump right into it, let's talk a little bit about who they are. Uh, then I'll talk about some of their customs, some of their religions, you know, because um, they are split to about three, and that'll be it. Okay, so the Sadama are an ethnic Ashiri people traditionally inhabiting the Sadama zone of the southern nations, nationalities, and peoples region in Ethiopia. But keep in mind on the 23rd November 2019, the Sadama zone became the 10th regional state in Ethiopia. So it became its own zone and wanted to be separate from the southern nations, nationalities, and peoples region, okay? So they speak the Sadamo language, which is a language of the Cassidic branch of the Afro-Asiatic family language. If you see my other videos, then you would know that I already previously talked about this, but just in case you didn't, essentially the Afro-Asiatic language family is more of a larger um, phylum of branch families, including a lot of languages that essentially come from the same Proto mother, I guess you could call it, and some of the people that fall in the wider phylum of the Afro-Asiatic language would be the Semitic languages, the Cushitic languages, and the Ethiopic Semitic languages. Uh, languages like that, those languages fall under, though even the Berber languages as well, and also the Chadic languages too. Those, those branches essentially come from the larger Afro-Asiatic phylum, and the Saddam will come from the, their language comes from the Cushitic branch. Okay, I talked about other um, ethnic groups that also come from the Cushitic branch, such as the the Somalis, the Afar, and also the Aroma. Okay, so despite their large numbers, the Sadamo lacked a separate ethnic regional state and until they just recently got it. Okay, so that's it for them. They essentially preserved their cultural heritage, um, including their traditional religion. Their, they had their own traditional religion, not Islam or Christianity. And they preserved it, including the traditional religion and language, until the late 1880s during the conquest um, of their region by Emperor Menelik II. So before this, the Sadamo had their own well-established administrative system that dated at least to about the 9th century. Okay, so though it was made up of a of loose coalitions of Sadamo kingdoms, right? It was it had its own um, uh, administrative system. These kingdoms extended also into the Gai region of Ethiopia and as a result of marginalization and since the language does not have its own alphabet very uh, uh, little has been written on Sadamo issues uh, many were not even able to attend school until after the dirt came to power in 1975 okay so yeah they, they face some marginali marginalization in their in Ethiopia so far much like a lot of other groups okay but their demographics are essentially, they're about 8.8 .8 million, so about 4% of the national population, of, of whom about 150,000 are about urban. And they're also the fifth most populous ethnic group in Ethiopia. Their language is actually called Sadamu Afu, which um, the majority of Sadamu practice, uh, which, oh, I'm sorry, which according to the 1994 national census was the mother tongue of 99.5% of them, okay? So, according to the authorities, um, the majority of Sadama practiced their traditional beliefs, and only in the 1960s, when European missionaries came to their region, is when um, they actually left their faith. However, according to the 1994 national census, only 14.9% practiced traditional beliefs, about 66.8% are Protestant, and 7.7% are Muslim, with 4.6% uh, being Catholic and 2.3% practicing Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity. Okay. So, over the course of the 20th and 21st century, there have been increasing moves towards integration amongst among Kushites, including the amalgamation of language, cultural institutions, and geopolitical frameworks, a move which has been dubbed by some analysts as Pan-Horn development or Pan-Hornism. Okay. I don't know, it sounds pretty interesting to me I think I have to look that up a little bit more but 
Uh, essentially, today the Sadama area has as many schools and um, adequate health services, um, though primary, secondary, pr um, preparatory, and many colleges and university education has increased. Uh, and there is a Sadama administrative zone within the Ethiopia's uh, within Ethiopia now, as I already stated. So, as far as their religion and beliefs, so they believe in spirit possession and this occurs amongst the Sadamo. The anthropologists um, Irene and John Hamer postulate that spirit possession is a form of compensation for being deprived within Sadamo society. The majority of the possessed are women whose spirits demand luxury goods to alleviate their condition. But men can be possessed as well, and when they're possessed, both, um, individuals of both sexes can become healers to, due to their condition. Hamer and Hamer suggests that this is a form of compensation among deprived men in deeply competitive society of the Sadama. For if a man cannot gain prestige as an orator or warrior or farmer, he may still gain prestige as a spirit healer. Women are sometimes accused of faking possession, but men never are. That was quite interesting, really. Oh, that's... <laughs> wow. That's quite interesting. <laughs> Wow, well, uh. Man, that's kind of <laughs> quite interesting. But, um. So, like, but definitely one thing I'll definitely, uh, talk about, though, is, like, uh. But one thing I'll definitely, um, talk about, though, is, like, essentially how a lot of, um. Wow, a lot of their like culture is like pretty interesting though, like the especially the possession part though. Wow, and I guess like um essentially I've been focusing a lot on the Kushites, and I, I might even like um talk about them some more even too in the future, cause like I I focus a lot about the Kush Empire and the Kingdom of Kush throughout history and things of that nature, because I guess it was one of my favorite kingdoms in um in all of Africa, so I guess that's why I have a thing for Kushites. And Cushitic peoples. But yeah, guys, um, please do me a favor and once again tell me what you thought about the video in the comments below. If you liked, you didn't like it, what did I miss? What did I get right? And other than that, please go ahead and follow me on Patreon and also social media, as well as like like and share this video. Um, please subscribe, and if you have any other suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.
Hanufaro, 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 